Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about an antenna analyzer from MFJ, the MFJ 269D Pro, and we'll get to it right after this. The only items you get in the box is the antenna analyzer itself, and you get this adapter that goes from N to SO239. There's two versions of this 269D. There's a regular 269 Delta and the 269 Delta Pro, which is what I'm showing here today. Now they say here, the only difference is the UHF range coverage on the Pro is 430 to 520 megahertz. And it also has the extended commercial style cabinet, which allows for lab work and it helps protect the knobs. And those are a couple of fins that stick out at the bottom. It also helps you stand the analyzer upright. Other than that, it's all pretty much the same. You can see here the difference in the 400 megahertz range. Now it does cover 280 to 230 plus the 2200 meter band. It does take 10 AA batteries or you can get an adapter and just plug it into a 110 outlet. And here they're talking about Determining the velocity factor, the coax loss in dB. It also helps you see what the length of your coax cable is, the distance to a short or open in feet. Obviously, you can read the SWR. And it does have accessories. They have this bag that you can put it in. Looks like this is a whole kit. The directions are pretty uh, well laid out. They're easy to follow. Shows your frequency ranges. And if you're using rechargeable batteries, make sure that you go in and you change the charging switch. It's really easy to do. It's really easy to find. Just take the back cover off. It does tell you if your voltage is getting too low and it will shut itself off. It's an easy to read meter. They do recess the power button so that it doesn't snap off goes through a self check, tells you what your voltage is. And you get two lines, top line obviously you have the frequency that you're using. Tell you what your SWR is. I don't obviously don't have it hooked up to anything right now. And you can see it digitally or with the analog meters. They have the SWR and ohms. Down here is where you would change the frequencies and then this one knob over here is for fine tuning it to the desired frequency. These two buttons over here the gate and mode, push them together and they will change to give you more features. They have advanced one, advanced two, which is where you go to do find how long your cable is, and advanced three. One more press brings you back to main. I'm going to throw a piece of coax cable on here and show you how to see how long it is. Now the information you're going to need to find from the industry that makes your coax cable is you're going to need the velocity. In this case, it's 66%. Now what you do is just look up the model number of the cable you have. For example, I'm using 2213 Alpha. And again, it's from ABR Industries. Pretty much every single cable company will have these data sheets on the internet. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put that velocity number into the program. And to get it set up for measuring it, you're going to press and hold the gate and mode buttons at the same time. You have advanced one, then you're going to go to advanced two. And I believe it automatically defaults to the 66. Once you have that, press gate or press the mode button if it's wrong. Gate will bring the number up, and mode will bring the number down. Once you have it input properly, press the gate and mode button again at the same time. Now I've started low, and we're gonna turn this knob until we get to zero. You're gonna need this number right here to read zero. Now it'll probably go high, and then it'll come back down. 
You can also watch it through the analog meter in ohms. See now it's starting to go back down. And there we have it at zero. Press gate, because you see how it says first? Now it says second. So we're going to continue to go see if we can get it to zero again. Okay, we've run out of room there. Click this up one on the top. And again, we're going to try and get zero. And there we have zero. Hit gate. And it tells you that my cable is 51.1 feet. Now once you're here, go ahead and press the gate and mode buttons at the same time to go back to main. And then with gate correction using mode, you can see your loss. Let's say you want to see what your loss was in while you're using the national calling frequency, 146520. Go ahead and dial it in. About 1.6 dB loss at 146.520 for this 51 foot piece of coax. A lot of the data sheets that the companies provide will tell you by frequency what their losses are using a 100-foot piece of coax. To me personally, I find this one of the best features of this antenna analyzer, aside from obviously checking the SWR of any given antenna. There are many more features that you can do with this antenna analyzer. If you push the mode button again, you get all these follow-up and duct capacitance and ductance. Frequency counter if you have that hooked up your impedance, and then you're back to your coax loss. And then in the advanced area one and two, there are other features you can do. All of it is explained in the owner's manual. Okay, I've got the analyzer hooked up to my BuddyStick Pro, and we have it set for 20 meters. You let it run through its startup system. Now we need to choose the correct frequency. So we'll go to the 11 to 28 megahertz. And then we use this to fine tune it. But you can see it's starting to fall as we get closer. And now we're at 1.1 at about 250. And as we go down, looks like it changes at 239. Now it's still going down to the 230s, 229. It is a very sensitive dial. All in all, I do like the 269 Delta Pro. It's got a lot of great features. For me, my favorite features are the fact that it'll tell me how long a coax cable is and if there's any faults or breaks in the cable. It's easy to use. The batteries, I've had these in for several weeks and I haven't had any issues with them going down. Again, they're the inner loop rechargeables. And again, if you're using rechargeable, make sure you switch it over for charging. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.